Hi folks, I'm JD Pyatt with IcoTech Game Calls. Welcome to the online tutorial video for downloading and programming your IcoTech GC350 or GC500 game call. We will be using Windows 10 today and this process covers both the first generation and the Gen 2 models GC350 and GC500. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I would suggest when you purchase an Icotech game call is backing up the SD card that come with your caller, whether it be the 350 or the 500. Um, create that backup folder, store it on your computer. That way, if anything happens to that SD card down the road, you've got those sounds backed up and you can always go back to them and create a new SD card. So, helpful little tip there. Okay, now we're going to download a sound from the Icotech website now. And before I get started, I'm going to create a new folder to direct that downloaded sound to. So I'm going to just name it Icotech Sounds for now. Okay, after that folder is created, let's go to the Icotech website. And when you get there, you'll see the information bar up top. We're going to go over to the sound library hover our cursor over it and it'll give us a drop down menu. I'll be using the Gen 2 GC500 today so I'm going to go to the sound previews and downloads link right there. I'll click it. It'll redirect me to the next page that the sounds are located at on our website and as you see we have multiple species with quite a few sounds for each one. So today I'm going to be downloading a Coyote Howl uh, Apollo Invite to be exact and as you see looking at each sound under each category we have a preview button and a download button beside that the preview button is so that you may click on it it'll open up into a different page and it will play that sound for you that way you've got the choice whether to download it or it's not one that you want so you've listened to it you like it next thing you want to do is download it so we'll click the download button again it's going to take you to a separate page and it's going to direct you to the dropbox site that the sounds are located at for download once this page is opened up you'll see the sound file name I go Apollo invite, how big it is, and then you've got a download button right below that. Click that download, and we're going to choose direct download so that we can direct it to that folder we created. I'm going to go over to the up arrow key by save, click it, so I can choose to save as, that way it opens up my directory. So already, if it doesn't open directly to the folder you created, you can go to your desktop, search for that folder, choose it, open it, and that's, just make sure up top here, it's directed to this folder that we created. And there's the name of the sound file. So I'll click save. It's already finished downloading. So I'm gonna minimize that. And with me using the Gen 2 500 today, it comes with 200 sounds. So before I can add a sound to it, I have to remove a sound from the SD card now. So I'm going to remove the very last sound. So I'm going to go into this folder where we just downloaded the Apollo Invite. And I'm going to rename this file to sound 200 to replace that last sound on the SD card. So I'll right click on it. Choose rename and add 200 at the beginning of the file name. Make sure you leave a space between the third number and first letter in the name. So now my file's ready uh, to be added to my SD card. We offer two options to connect your SD card to your computer. You can either remove the card from the caller and directly plug it into your computer if your computer has the full-size SD slot or you can use the supplied 
USB cable to connect the back of the caller to the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my SD card. See, it automatically opens it up. I'm going to go to sound 200, highlight it, and delete it, which is fine to do because we created that backup. If we ever wanted to put that sound back onto the SD card, we've got a copy of it in our backup folder. Now I'm going to go back to my at the sounds folder. I'm going to copy that sound. And then I'll go back to my removal disk. And I'm going to paste the sound to the SD card. So there it is on the SD card. We're ready to roll. Now all we got to do is update our remote control. All right, before we update our remote, a couple things I'd like to discuss, and that is one, an SD card. Um, some guys like to go out, purchase separate SD cards, like for the GC350, they have multiple cards made up, that the way they can in and out. Um, also for the 500s, guys buy them. One thing about the SD card requirements is that it needs to be a class 4 card, and formatted to FAT or FAT32 and it needs to be full size. Those micro SD cards won't work properly. So make sure it's a full size class 4 SD card. And it can be anywhere from 2 gigabytes up to and no more than 32 gigabytes. Full size SD card. So that's one thing about the SD card requirements that work in our callers. Also the cables that we use for updating our remote control after changes that will be made is basically it's a standard auxiliary cable, but it's in stereo mode uh, with 3.5 millimeter male end jacks. So that's the auxiliary cord that we will be using now to update our remote control. I'd like to also add that for those of you using the GC350, the remote control does not require any updating. Alright, now that we've got a couple sounds added to our SD card on our GC500, let's update the remote. And to update the GC500 remote, I want to power on the caller, power on the remote control, and I'm going to plug into the back of the caller first, into the sync port. And I want to make sure that plug's seated in there fully. And then plug into the side of your remote control, and you'll see update sounds, and then the caller communicating with the remote, transferring that information. So once that information is fully transferred, it's going to flash OK. And then after it's done flashing OK, it will sh display your call list. And at that point, we're going to shut off the caller, shut off the remote control, and unplug them. Now we've got the OK flash. Our sounds will be displayed here shortly. At that point, I'm going to turn them both off and unplug them. Then we'll turn the call back on and test our last sound. Hollow invite. Alrighty, using the Windows 10 version, we have successfully loaded a couple sounds to our SD card, and now it's time to get out and do some hunting. If you have any further questions, uh, contact us through our website at service at icotech.com. Hopefully everybody's successful using this process and uh, gets to spend a lot more time out there hunting. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Icotech. Dead serious game calls and decoys.